In today's NHS, women are given as much choice as possible about how and where they should give birth. Let's take a look at some examples from across England where high quality maternity care is already provided. Many women want to give birth at home. We visited Newton Abbott in Devon to talk to a new mum about her experience and how she was supported by her local midwifery team. We're here because Natalie decided to have a home birth and we supported her with her decision as midwives. It was a very, very good environment, you know, I felt comfortable. I had a lot of support from you, Claire. Um, you had the family around you. Yeah, it was my family that I wanted with me. I think that women need to be able to make the decision to stay at home because when they are in their own home environment they tend to be a lot more relaxed and you find that their pregnancy and their labour tends to advance more naturally. The fact of not having a massive hospital to back me up did slightly worry me but the fact that I knew the midwives were there and they had all the equipment that they did need if anything was to go wrong. We always will ring for ambulance support and transfer women in if we feel in you know in their labour they are obviously not progressing or we're coming across any any problems. I made that decision to have a home birth a week before he was born. Traditionally women had to decide at the start of their pregnancy Allowing women to make the choice when they are at the end of their pregnancy is, is more advantageous because it empowers them to take control of their pregnancy and their childbirth. We're very proud that we do have an 11% home birth rate in this area. Ten years ago it was about 2.4%, so it is a figure that is continually rising. The experience of giving birth to him at home was the best experience so far. I wouldn't have changed any of it. While many women like the idea of giving birth at home, they are worried about what may happen in a case of an emergency. Here's a case study from Stockport near Manchester where they try to meet both needs. This is Stockport Birth Centre and um, Stepping Hill Hospital. This is one of the birthing rooms. I'm Debbie and this is Stephen and this is Ruby. He's six days old and we're sat here because six days ago we were in this room having Ruby. This birth centre is for healthy low-risk women who could be having a baby at home. I was given the option of a home birth but with it being my first child I wanted to be at a hospital but this in this environment it felt like a home birth really. If there's a problem during labour the woman actually transfers to delivery suite and is seen by a doctor there. What we've done here is removed any visible equipment that would remind you that you're in a hospital. I didn't feel like I was in hospital. Um, it's because there's no it's... there's no equipment and there's no you know there's no hospital paraphernalia. We have the equipment available, obviously, but it's not actually in the room. Um, we've tried to bring some colour in here. We've got a pool in the room as well. Um, we've looked at the lighting. You can have music playing in here. Um, and the aim is to create an, an environment that's as calm and, and peaceful as possible. We're really looking to a growth in birth centres and an increase in the home birth rate because that maternity matter says very clearly that women should have the choice of home birth or delivering in a midwife-led birth centre. The evidence is really clear that labouring in a birth centre environment or at home increases your chance of having a normal birth. It worked, didn't it? It worked. It really it was, it was fantastic. Really good. A small number of women will have a complicated or a premature birth and need specialist hospital care. We went to Surrey to hear about a world-class specialist neonatal intensive care unit. Hi, 
I work in the neonatal unit here at St Peter's Chertsey. Uh, we're a level three unit and this is the intensive care area. This is a unit that is looking after the most extreme premature babies. You've got mothers delivering babies at home, you've got mothers delivering babies within a normal hospital setting and we're at the very extreme end so we're looking at that very small group of mothers, probably less than 10% that deliver premature babies that are going to need maximal support with dedicated nurses and doctors who are fully trained and know what they're doing. There are quite a lot of women who are expecting to have a normal delivery and then something untoward happens and you need then fully dedicated neonatal nurses and neonatal doctors who are able to say resuscitate and deal with the baby. It means that we give the baby the best chance possible for survival. I think what uh, a unit like ours is doing is trying to aspire to not just acceptable or good standards but to the best possible standards that we can make. We have good training, we've got an excellent team of nursing staff that work together. We have doctors, nurses and other multi-professional staff who are purely dedicated in looking after premature babies. They don't have responsibility for other duties. We have a dedicated neonatal transport team which is ideal for moving those babies around the network and beyond. The latest research, the latest equipment, the latest technology. I think with the increase in the technology and the training that is required for neonatal intensive care, it's important that we centralise neonatal intensive care in units that are good at what they're doing. I think people, and I'll use the word dabbling in intensive care, is not something that is good for babies or good for the mothers.